Welcome back, another day, doing the same old things. I'll be grading, George is out there. He uh, is here at uh, 5.30 this morning, so he's uh, doing some gypsum. He's already up to 30 hectares, so he's having a good day. Uh, we've got a total fire ban today, so um, yeah, the temperature is going to get to 44 degrees today. So that's um, going to be quite hot. So we're planning to work to about nine o'clock and then just stop just for uh, fire safety, make sure we don't you know, start a fire in the paddock or anything like that. And by then we'll probably have a movement ban on anyway. Uh, Cause yeah, we had a lot of lightning strikes yesterday or last night. So we've got those to look out for. So hopefully no fires and yeah, I better get to work. Well, today's just got interesting. We uh, put a movement ban on at about 10 o'clock. The conditions are absolutely horrible. We're currently 38, maybe 39 degrees. We've got 35k winds gusting to 40 something uh, from the north. And right now I'm on my way to go and drive the Cascade uh, Fire Brigade truck because uh, we've got a fire down in the uh, Mungi uh, Brigade area. Uh, it's down on Ned's Corner Road and the highway, so yeah, it's about to jump the highway and they're needing uh, as much assistance as they can. So we're gonna jump on that and head on down and I'll try and show you what I can, but obviously I'm gonna be concentrating on the job at hand and not holding the camera, but I'll get what I can for you guys and we'll see what happens. up at the fire and it's jumped the highway now so now we're just going to try and do our best and safest way to get this out before we get into the bush at the bottom there and I got my crew member Still waiting for the spot forecast that must have come. 
what we do, we go round and round and round and round and it keeps on lining up behind us because we don't have a support unit and we just keep on doing that. So we uh, we got a fair bit of that out all along that, that flank there, the whole way down, that's all out now. So now we are waiting for this fire here just to see if that's going to jump. Uh, it, it will, we'll jump into this stuff here and then yeah we'll be uh, We'll be back into it again. Now we just wait and we just keep on circling around, circling around, circling around. And that's uh, how you fight a fire, basically just calmly, easy, slowly, and we'll get it out. We got that west side under control and we were asked to come over to the, uh, the, the east side. So we're over here now. And right now we're just waiting for that to come. Cause we've got all these sheds here that we're in charge of protecting. So we'll try and keep them as safe as we can. So the fire is uh, just spotting little fires and we're just putting them out as they come, just protecting this infrastructure here. Getting pretty hectic. We've got lots of spot fires coming. Gonna swing around. Gonna move some more cattle. Gonna let them know, Roller. Oh, 
Ryan's coming in. Hang on down. Should I mention that we're in a cow paddock? There's all these cow holes everywhere. Making it very exciting for us. So we're back here to fill up for our second time. Yo! Onions? Yeah, it's onions. The joys of uh, running out of water. These things take 4,000 litres each. So, we've already done 8,000 litres on the fire. Filled up and we're on our way back now. Just approaching the highway. 
line is confirmed to make. It's coming from the west, which is from the rise before the cattle yard. Get this float it's through. Gonna gonna a, uh, it's going to be a long night, I think. Okay, <laughs> just hold back. A lot of fires once you do the um, main part, it gets a bit quiet and you're just waiting. Just waiting for the uh, next bit of action to happen. Yeah, mate. Uh, just next to the grader who is operating uh, parallel to the highway um, yeah, near our house. Yeah, I'm just filming the wind change. I think that's what they're talking about. That one is that's like home direction. Glad I got it on camera. It'd be a good training exercise. What's that? It'd be a good training video. Yeah. Look at it, it's going fierce. Look how fast it's gone. Make sure that the money trucks are ready to go if they need to. Roger, this 
Uh, somebody was trying to get me. Uh, from Private Stead, just letting you know I'm just leaving the fire ground, just uh, headed home to move some stuff off our uh, west side. Uh, say again, have you got something burning at your home farm? Uh, nothing burning, just with this change coming through, uh, we've got a fair bit of stuff. Well, I reckon I'll leave the uh, the video there. It's been a very exciting day. Lots has happened. Uh, filmed what I could safely enough <laughs> without getting uh, myself or crew in danger. The uh, we're going to be at this fire for quite a long time, probably to you know well well into the night. It is currently still in this river here, so it's just going to keep burning in there. Nothing we can do, we'll get some dozers and try and go in there and get it all burnt out, but unless anything else interesting happens, I'll uh, flick the camera on again, but for now, that'll be it, and we shall see you guys in the next one.